Hi, I'm Dominic from Roll for Damage, and today we are starting a new mini series called Dominic's Dandy Dungeon. This episode, we're making portable arrow traps. Um, this series is just gonna be me uh, taking over the episode, making crafts. Okay, so what we're gonna do is that we're taking CVA, CVA, EVA, EVA foam, I think it's called. So EVA foam. And then taking uh, bamboo skewers and putting them, we're going to poke them through the foam to make the arrows. So what I've done is taking the foam and taking a soldering iron to make it look like stone. So that's our wall that we're going to make an arrow trap out of. So we're going to take the foam, move it aside, and we're going to take the skewers and poke them through at the desired length and spot that we want our arrows to be so we poke that through uh, you might want to turn it a little bit to to um to make sure it has space so I poked that through and then I wiggle it, I take another one, I wiggle it, and we're going to take a soldering iron later to make sure they can easily slide in through. Okay, so we can see we have our two holes, we need three. So we're going to put our third through, wiggle it. And take all of them, and then put them in our wall at our desired length. To make it look, I'm putting them at different lengths to make it look like an array is coming out and shooting. So, we're going to take needle nose pliers. No, we're going to take, yeah, needle nose pliers. They usually have wire cutters at the end, something to easily snap off th that bamboo skewer. Now, you want to cut these. Uh, not too close to the base, but close to where we can stick a piece of cardboard and glue it. So we can insert the arrows at any time. And you want to cut them all, try to get them at the exact length of each other. So that they can easily go onto the cardboard with your length that you want them to be. So you can see, see the arrows coming out of the wall. Then we're going to take... Uh, a piece of cardboard, very thin cardboard from any like box you can get, cereal, anything like that. So we're going to cut cardboard out just enough to be able to glue it to the, the arrows so that you can slide them in at any time. Okay, so we're going to take our hot glue gun. Be very careful, it is hot. Um... And you want to make sure just a little bit on the ends. You don't want to get it to the wall. And I made a mistake by gluing it to the glossy side. That you don't want to do. So I go back and glue it to the real side. Okay. So then I glued the bottom the bottom of the wall to a piece to pop a popsicle stick the length of the wall. And these these walls and tiles are two by two. So we take that and then we glued uh, another piece of cardboard at the bottom so we can slide the wall. Uh, we can slide that part into under a uh, floor tile at any time. That makes the wall portable. All right. So, and it gives the the it gives the the wall a little more stability and make sure it doesn't fall over. So and then you get matte black paint and you're gonna make sure everything's coated everything coat everything in matte black make sure nothing you can see anything we're gonna go back a little later after the black we're gonna go back we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna go back with we're gonna dry coat 
the gray onto it to make it look like stone walls. All right, so you can see me painting. If you if you like if you like these little Dominic's Dungeon series, um, click like. It helps us know what you're enjoying. And if you don't like it, then just go on to another one. But if you like it, click like, comment down that you want more. And we will surely do more for y'all. Okay, so I covered everything. And then I take a soldering iron and go through those holes. So you can easily put those arrows in. See, you can just stick them in. So now you can take them out. So now it's just a portable, easy slip in when a uh, mini crosses that tile. Okay, so then, okay, this is the clip that we accidentally edited. That's this is the clip of me putting that cardboard and popsicle stick on. Uh, this is how I did it. It's very simple. Just put it on underneath it so it can easily just slide under a tile. Bang. Alright. So, and then we go back with black. Paint everything. Make sure these arrows are covered. And then you're not going to do the gray on the arrows. Because arrows aren't gray, you're gonna have you're gonna go back with brown and cover everything in brown. You can see me. This is the I let the black paint dry. Now I'm dry coating the walls with gray. Make sure you only have a little bit and you go in one motion, one one way. You're not gonna go up, down, left, right. You're gonna go left 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 or right 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 or up up or down down so you're gonna go in one motion to make it look like a stone wall all going one way and then i think we accidentally edited out the me painting brown so we're gonna paint our arrows brown after that black paint dries on the arrows so you can see me painting Okay, so I painted it brown on the arrows, and now I'm going back with the silver Sharpie and putting it on the ends of these arrows to make it look like they're iron-tipped arrows, like pointy arrows, to make it more believable and, I think, a lot cooler effect on the arrows. Okay. So we, we cover, make sure they're all about the same length. You want them to be all about the same length covered in, in silver. Um, you have to be very fragile. Be, make sure you're, you don't poke, you don't break the arrow off. <laughs> cause that can happen. And I couldn't get it right cause it was like a shadow and everything. Okay, so th that's our finished product. It's very simple. So we take our floor tile, we can put it down anywhere, and then we can easily take take our wall, make sure you let everything dry, slide it under, bang, and then you have this little mini do 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 do, and then step onto the floor tile. And then you're going to be like, wait, if he didn't check for traps or anything, you're going to be like, hold up, sucker. Let me push these arrows through. Bang. And it would hit him. So that's our fin finished product. It's very simple. Um, very easy to do sliding in and out these arrows okay so this is a better better cut of without like the shadow of the arrows and how they look on the wall so you can see them 
all the arrows they can slide back out easily there's a little tab on the back pull out and then you can easily push it back in after but you want to make sure your arrows aren't at at an angle you won't be able to push it in smoothly so that's our little tile you step on slide it any under any tile and then easily push the arrows through you just got to make sure they're right and then bang push and then you can push them out by that little tab yeah I think it's pretty easy it's pretty simple it's pretty fun fun to make um it's a lot simpler than a lot other arrow traps traps I see because they have a lot of ways that they're on but then you can't take them off and I feel like that's a very big giveaway so if you're walking if you're a mini is walking down the tunnel and they see all these arrows trap they're obviously just gonna check for traps and disable them but if it's concealed like this where you can just push it through they will have no idea and bang easily take it out so what I like to do you can see at the you can see the holes so at the end you can push styrofoam through like this little styrofoam balls make sure they're small push them through and then paint them gray blackish to cover up those holes in the wall so the arrows can easily just push through the styrofoam balls because the arrows aren't pointy, they're in sharp, so they're not going to stab the arrows or anything. So, yeah, like, subscribe, click the bell notification icon to get notified when we upload. And, yeah, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.